Hello everyone, welcome to Akash Institute. In this new video series, we are discussing the counselling processes of different states and UTs of India for NEET 2024. Today's state is Telangana. In this discussion, we will look at seat matrix, cutoff analysis and the entire counselling process. You can visit this website for more information on the same. Let's first look at the MBBS seat matrix of Telangana. As you can see, there are 56 colleges with 8,490 seats in them. Take a look at the map and have a better understanding of the distribution of the colleges throughout this state. Here you have the list one of government MBBS colleges. Please note that AIMS BB Nagar offers admission only through All India Quota. The state quota is available in the other colleges. In addition to that, please note the names, the locations and the number of seats in these colleges. Here you have the list 2 of government MBBS colleges, then you have list 1 of private MBBS colleges and list 2 of private MBBS colleges. Now let's look at the BDS seat matrix of Telangana. As you can see, there are 14 colleges with 1290 seats in them. Please take a look at the map to get an idea how these colleges are distributed throughout this state. Here you have the list of government and private BDS colleges in Telangana. Now let's look at the 2023 MBBS cutoff of the government colleges. This was for general, AWS, OBC, SC and ST. This is the same for the private MBBS colleges, general, AWS, OBC, SC and ST. Now we will talk about the different quota categories of the colleges in Telangana. Mainly there are competent quota or state quota and management quota. Management quota is available only in the private colleges. Under competent or state quota, government medical colleges offer 85% of their seats and medical colleges offer 50% of their seats. If you take admission in government colleges, you pay 7,000 to 20,000 per annum approximately and in the medical colleges, you pay 60,000 per annum approximately. Now we will talk about the management quota. Under this, the private colleges offer 35% of their seats to Indian citizens who pay 11.55 to 14.5 lakh rupees per annum approximately. And they offer 15% of the seats to the NRI candidates who pay almost two times what Indian citizens pay under management quota. The quota of Indian citizens is further divided. 85% of it goes to the localites of Telangana and the rest of it goes to anyone who is an Indian. Now, we will look at the different steps of the counselling process. It starts with online registration and verification. The link to the website has been given. Next, declaration of merit list. Then, online choice filling, allotment of seats and in the end, you report at the allotted college. Now, we will talk about the eligibility criteria. For the seats reserved for the local of Telangana, candidates should have studied for a minimum of 7 academic years including 10 plus 2 from one or more government recognized institutions located in Telangana. But remember, this is an open state, so even after exhausting the 15% All India quota, students from other states and UTs can take admission here through the management quota or the institutional quotas in the private medical colleges. Here is the list of documents you need for the counselling. Academic eligibility mark sheets or certificates, NEET UG admit card and mark sheet, Domicile or Nativity Certificate if applicable, Caste Certificate if applicable, PWD Certificate if applicable, Passport Size Photographs, Government ID Proof and Minority Certificate if applicable. In addition to these, you may need to submit more documents as per the eligibility criteria. Now is there scholarship here? Yes, there is scholarship under Post Matric Scholarship Scheme given to whom? Given to SC, ST, BC, Minority and PWD candidates. What is the requirement? The total family annual income for SC or ST candidates is to be less than or equal to 2 lakh rupees and for BC, EBC or minorities, it is 1.5 lakh rupees in rural and 2 lakh rupees in urban areas. 
There is no such requirement for the PWD candidates. You can visit this website for more information on the same. Now let's talk about bond details. There is discontinuation bond here. That means if you discontinue your medical course, you will have to pay 3 lakh rupees as penalty. We have come to the end of this video. Hope you understood the counselling process of Telangana. Thank you for watching.